wind picked up just a little lot. No, no, it's dropped down tonight. No, no, no. Oh, nothing coming. It, it was 20 odd knots a minute ago, 27. We're going to go in there, in that corner. In there behind Sun, sort of that way, but this wind's picked up, so now we're into this side, there's a westerly dew. Like about four in the morning, three in the morning. Yeah, so. Wow. Oh, yeah. Nikki, and this is my gorgeous family. Chris, Bo, Bear, and our salty sea dog, Ava. <laughs> We're sailing around the world on pickle. An old catamaran we bought and did up <laughs> after my major life-changing moment when I caught meningitis. Subscribe and enjoy the ride. <laughs> What are you doing? I am leading the steering because we seem to lose hydraulic oil somewhere, somehow, slightly, just like a tiny bit, like maybe a teaspoonful. So I just put this in and then I put a little bit of oil in and then I just go back and forth until the bubbles stop coming out and the oil is the right level. The steering went a bit soft, didn't it? Yeah, I noticed it when we left, but we were in big seas. Well, quite a big swell. And it wasn't too bad, it was just, it was, there was a gap, you know, like like a bit of a tractor sort of feeling. You go out, nothing happens, then it stays. And then and I noticed straight away and I said it weren't right, but you didn't want to hose too, did you? In those big swells and stuff. So we left it, but the autopilot was struggling, wasn't it? I think the autopilot was struggling because we had too much sail up. Well, and that, yeah, but it was also struggling because it happened to move and then it would work. So it was like a, uh, you know, like it was trying to work. But we shouldn't lose oil, hydraulic oil. We haven't lost mm. it for a while. We lose it from ram, don't we? Yeah, like a tiny bit. You'd be amazed. I suppose there's only a tiny bit of oil in there, though, isn't there? But, like, I've probably put in a teaspoonful of oil in there. Yeah, and it's just gone in there. Yeah, but it's not a tablespoonful, I don't think. Because the boat's a bit unique, it's not a standard ram. <laughs> they've sort of used it, the marine ram, so they've... Yeah, have, ram it's, <laughs> it's probably marine... Great, but it's it's massive ram, bigger than you'd use, you know, on a standard application. So we couldn't find the ram. It was it was leaking right really bad. Seals had gone, so my dad rebuilt it. And the the actual ram is itself, the the ram part is made of stainless steel. And the seals, my dad says, he polished it up, and the seals because they're soft wear away the ram because the stainless steel's soft. Normally on a ram they'd have steel and chrome plate because chrome is like super hard. So, yeah, just one of them. It, it weeps a little bit. It is very little bit. I'm going to go down and check after you've done and see if there's any art, see if it needs bleeding from down there. Go up there, huh? Yeah. Yep. And if you go up there, you'll be able to see a beautiful pickle. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh my god, you just see pickles there. Come on, let's go up here. Yes. I'm my I'm a bit out of breath now. Yeah. This is quite steep, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my legs can't do that. Hang on. Should we right. stop a minute? Especially with my ankles. Woo! So up here. It is. I mean, I do really We'll make it. Ah. Wait, like <sighs> it's going to be hard getting down. 
We can do it. Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Wow! 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 That was hard work. Wow, you can see for miles. You're the king of the castle with the dirty rascals. I can't get you down. <laughs> Come on, then, silly socks. Oh my god, you're strong. I am very strong. It's because I'm a mummy and you're a little person. <laughs> yeah, probably. They go too close to the edge, huh? After a long trek back down and a pretty good fun day, we had a nice little evening sail around the corner to another bay just to check out a few more locations at Cabo de Gato before we sail on to San Jose in a few days time. Yeah. They cast that a long way then. They can do, yeah. See you in a bit. So as always, me and the kids made our own fun. We played on the beach, found silly tires. We went and did a bit of rock climbing and played in some of the rock pools and just generally explored the local area. We had loads of fun that day. And then of course, they go snorkeling and playing and swimming when we get back to the boat. That's a climb. Let's get a thumbnail picture. Coming down home to the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Taking it back to the boat. Gavin. Gavin Joe. Slow down. What's he doing, Nana? Put it back where it was then. What did you think of that? Wind picked up, just a little lot. No, no, it's dropped down tonight. No, no, no. Oh, nothing coming. 
It was 20 odd knots a minute ago, 27. We're going to go in there, in that corner. In there behind Sun, sort of that way, but this wind's picked up, so now we're into this side, there's a westerly dew. Like about four in the morning, three in the morning. Yeah, so. so I've come round over. Friends were coming up as well there, out there in, in this. It's job is blowing through. Crab pot there, Nick. There. That's a, that's a no, it's a crab pot. No, it's a crab pot. So I'll just be on the lookout and make sure there's no more. Last thing you want is something round bro. I bet we're getting some speed up now. We can feel no. waves pushing us. Seven, six knots then. I know. I think that's going to be six knots. Water wind, didn't it, really? Pushing us. Sitting at anchor. Gust, bit, got a bit gusty now. It's gusting up to about. Going on around. Keeps gushing up to about 35 ish. Um, yeah, anchor's holding alright. I'll just turn the phone around so you can have a look at it. So it's 25 sustained, gusting up to 30s. Can't really see, can't really hear out here though. It's, it's too, too windy. Charge your batteries up so it's all good. He's swinging round quite a lot. Swinging back and then jerking on anchor, but it's well dug in. We've been here for a few days, so it should be fine. It's all good, really. Good track on the plotter, not going nowhere. Going to overdrive. Can't cope with it. Wow, that's a big gust. Holding steady. Great job. Just thought I'd do a bit of videoing of um, the battery monitor, and the only thing that's coming in now, obviously, is a wind generator because. A lot of people say them wind generators are a bit crap. I mean, I know we're getting we're getting quite gusty wind out there, but it just went up to over nine amps. That wind's dropped now. It would do, wouldn't it, when I'm videoing? That now's about 25 knots of wind. Wow, 9 9.4, 9 9.6, 9 9.8, 10 10.3, 10, 10 10.3 amps. I mean, it's probably about 45 knot gusts, that, but I think it just goes to show that, um, yeah, wind generators are bloody great, I think. So we had a windy few days. We had to move because we found ourselves on top of a submerged channel marker, banging against our holes, but we moved across to another little part of San Jose and we spent a few days in an amazing, beautiful, tranquil location. How clear the water is. Right, hang on. I see the anchor. This is where we're staying. Do your 360 view. Pretty little houses. Lovely little lovely hills behind. And this is San Jose, I think it's called.
that's out to sea. Thanks for joining us this week, guys. I'm afraid we actually had a major disaster while I was in San Jose and we lost two weeks worth of footage, which is epically bad, but we've still got some. Join us next time when we're celebrating Bo's 12th birthday. And you can find us on YouTube and Instagram if you want some up-to-date reviews. Remember, if you enjoy these episodes, join our Patreon. Follow the link down below. See you next time.